Hi, welcome back to the tutorial. In previous video, we saw the transition management and we saw the types of transition provided by the MuleSoft. So first is the local transition where we have only one resource and uh, the second one is the global transition where we have more than one resources involved. So global transition also known as an exit transition where it uses the exit protocol and two phase two phase commit in order to achieve the transaction successfully. Now, Saga pattern is alternative to exit transition. So if the resource is not capable of uh, doing a exit transaction, then we'll use the Saga pattern. Saga pattern is a sequence of local transaction where each transaction updates the data within a single service. So it's nothing but a series of local transactions. The first transition in Saga is initiated by the external request corresponding to the system operation and then each subsequent step is triggered by completion of the previous one. So the first step will be executed by the external client and the subsequent step will be triggered automatically with the help of events one, an one after another. Saga pattern is alternate to XA when the resources are not capable of XA and uh, XA is undesirable. So we'll use the Saga pattern. Now there are a few features of the Saga pattern. One, it maintains the consistency across the services. So there will be a consistency across the services and uh, we'll manage the proper transaction. It uses a sequence of local transactions. So we'll have lots of local transactions in order to achieve the final output. Failure of a local transaction, a series of compensating transaction to undo the previous successful transactions. So let's say you are doing some transaction and uh, the first transaction is successful, second is successful and the third is uh, failed. And in, if the third transaction failed, we need to roll back the previous two transactions. So that we need to do manually. So let's say I'm, I'm inserting data inside the database. So I need to delete that particular row from the database. So we need to write the compensating transactions. Now, we, for that compensation transaction, we need to write a complex programming in order to achieve the transaction. So basically, two types of transaction available by the Saga. One is the choreography based or the event based transaction where there is no central coordination. One service will produce the event, second will listen it and second will produce the event, third will listen it and like that. And the second one is the orchestration where we have centralized the Saga decision maker who decides which business logic to execute. Now we'll understand the choreography based Saga. So the first service executes the transaction and then publish an event. This event is listened by one or more services which execute the local transition and publish a new event. So it's the event based transitions, event based uh, architecture then at last if all the services are completed then the last service will not going to publish an event that means the transition is successful now we'll see the scenario with the help of this diagram so we have this diagram which shows the event based transactions so first of all this order service will initiate the order. So first of all, client will send the order. So this order service will initiate the order and send it to the order created event. This order created event will listen, in, listen by the payment service and uh, it will listen the payment and then payment service will push the event to the build order event. Build order event will listen by the stock service it check the stock if the stock is available this will send it to the order prepare so order will be prepared and uh, then it will finally send it to delivery service delivery will service will send to the order deliver event and at last the order deliver event will be listened by the order service and the order is successful so in this scenario as you can see there are different uh, events are generating and each service is listening to other event and at last we are not generating any events. Suppose, so this is the successful transition. If the same transition fail in between, so what will happen? So we need to roll back manually. We need to roll back the data 
So for that, we need to write the program to roll back the data. So this is the order service. So first of all, we are send client is sending request to the order service to create the order. So after creating the order, this will send a event to the order create event. This will create the event order create event. This will pub subscribe that particular event payment service. Payment is all successful. It will send back to the build order event and this will call the stock service. And let's say stock is not available. So product is out of stock. So this will send request to the order out of stock event. Now what will happen? This will send request back to the payment service in order to cancel the payment or provide the refund because the stock is not available. This will send back and to the so this payment service will basically cancel the order and uh, this will update the status of the order service. So the order is cancelled and the refund is provided. So this is the failed transaction with the help of choreography. Now we'll see the orchestration. In orchestration, uh, will be, there will be a central central uh, saga pattern communicator which communicate to different services with the status of the data okay so let's take this example i will copy this okay so as you can see there this is the central saga orchestrator this take care of all the stuff like it creating an order if the order is failure so it's, it goes like this so first order message successful order message received from the order service payment method payment message send it to the payment service then successful receive the payment then delivery service if successful delivered so we'll send such message to the saga or orchestrator if in this all this uh, transaction in between let's say the payment failed so this sends a request to the payment fail and this saga orchestrator will decide which service to call so basically there uh, there's there will be a complexity involved over here because each event we need to see and according to each uh, response from each service we need to call other service so once the payment is failed then this will go back to the roll back the order message and order this will roll back to the order message and the order will be cancelled because the payment is failed and if this delivery message is failed then this will send back to the roll back the payment roll back the order everything so this is uh, the orchestration based uh, saga so both the pattern we can use in any of the system but uh, there is a complexity involved because uh, here this is event based so we need to track each and every event here this is service based so we need to write a complex logic what happened when one of the service is failed hope you understand the saga design pattern that's it for this video see you next video thank you